welcome to Metaviation. I'm Mr. Cloud and today we are going to talk about the classification of aircraft. Let's start. So, the first thing is to understand what is an aircraft. An aircraft is uh, every machine made for the transport of people or things on the air from a point to another of the earth. Of course we have to talk about the classification because there are a lot of kinds of aircraft over there and so it's better to understand which are the main difference between them. Well, first thing first, we have to understand which is the process behind the phrase I have an aircraft. Which kind of aircraft? Do you have uh, aerodyne, a ornithopter, or uh, a stank beetle? Yeah, you can have also that. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, mad around, some fog. Let's do some clear. So I live in Italy. Here I apply the Italian navigation code rules, but more or less are the same around the world because uh, they are managed by ENAC, the test to stay under the EASA rules, the test to stay under the ICAO rules. I will uh, talk about that in another video. If you want uh, that, just write me in the comment and uh, I will do that. The basics. The Italian rule says, all the Italian aircraft are registered to the National Aeronautical Register. The test the name say it's a register where the aircraft all kind of aircraft owned by people are righted. This is valid for every nation around the world. It has to be like that. The aircraft can be deleted from the register when it is demolished, destroyed, sold aboard, or oh, 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 this is important. Or when the owner is him a legal person or a physic person, change the nationality. What does it mean? In simple words. Legal person. It's uh, for example, uh, I don't know, the Banana Aviation Company. The physical person. It's me, Mr. Cloud, that I own the Banana Aviation Company. For example, my aircraft uh, can be deleted from the register in uh, three ways. First, that I move uh, to live in Hawaii and I forgot that I have my aircraft in Italy. Second, I pay someone to destroy my plane. Third, I forget to gear down and destroy it anyway. Really important is to remember this. The low in force on board the aircraft is the rules of the state of registration of the aircraft. This means that if I have to do a flight from Rome to Moscow, okay, the rules applied are the rules of Italian, EASA and ICAO. Also, all the states that are under the Chicago Convention, if you don't know what it is, just write me in the comment and I will do a video about that. For the Article 35 of Chicago Convention, in every aircraft it's illegal to bring weapons, munitions, bombs, toxic gas and other war materials. But you are smart and immediately you ask me, but uh, what's about military aircraft? and all the other things. What are you going to do that? Okay, okay. Now we're going to start the first very important classification of aircraft. The aircraft divides in state aircraft and civil aircraft or private aircraft. What is a state aircraft? A state aircraft are the military aircraft, the police aircraft, the post aircraft and etc. 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 What are the civil and private aircraft? Or the others, for example, school aircraft, uh, civil aircraft, uh, and blah blah blah. All them are civil and private. But there is a little things to pay attention about. Are considered state aircraft the civil aircraft that are uh, temporarily used for state service. This means that if you have uh, a Cessna 150, the state can ask you to use it. And the rules applied are not the civil or private aircraft. But the rules for state aircraft and which is the main rules about the state aircraft the state aircraft 
are not under the Convention of Chicago. So, the rules that was illegal to bring weapons on it not exist. So actually, if you have a 150 and the state asks you to bring a bomb, you could do it, okay? Because you are under the state aircraft. Okay, let's recap a little bit, okay? So, first classification, state aircraft, civil and private aircraft. In what they are different? Civil and private aircraft are rules that state aircraft has not. But unless a civil aircraft is used for a state service. Very well. That was the easy part. Now let's move and we go deep in the crazy mind of aerospace rulers. Second very important classification. Aerostat or aircraft lighter than air. What does it mean? This means all the machines that use the simple principle of Archimedes. Do you remember that? I will do easy. This means they use hot hair or some gas lighter than hair to stay up. They are divided with engine and without engine. Without engine are for example the balloons. Okay, a balloon is without engines. It's not controllable. You don't have a control panels. You at least could be anchored on the floor with a cord. You can control it, but you don't have the way to control on board. And it uses hot air to stay up. That's the very big difference. On the other side, we have, for example, a dirigible. A dirigible. Dirigible. I don't know. To say. They have movie control. They have engines, and they use lighter than air gas so they actually use principle of our argument but the you can control it that's the very big difference those was the lighter than air let's move to the heavier than air first distinction as the other with or without engine for example the without engine are the gliders or the stack beetle now we are gonna know what is a stack beetle so the stack beetle it's actually a glider, if we can say that, that is towed by a cable, like a kite. It's a kite actually, a very big kite. I think they are some idea of the first kind of airplane. Maybe just was some try or to understand how that works. I can understand why they are still registered, but who knows. Now let's move to the wheat engine, and that is the nice part. First different, fixed wings or rotary wings. A fixed wings is normally a plane, as we know them. A Boeing, a Cessna and everything you see up in the sky. The rotary wings, it's an helicopter. You have a wing that actually, it moves. It's a rotary wing. This makes a very big wing that actually moves air. So you can lift, okay? But I will do a video maybe, write me in the corner if you want, about uh, helicopter. The other big difference in the airplane, the fixed queen that you usually call airplane, is this. Terrestrial, that can take off and land only on terrain. Seaplane, or take off and land only on the water. The amphibious, that can do both. It can take off or land on water or on terrain. For the rotary wings, that are two arms, helicopter and autogiro. What is an autogiro? Well, let's start with uh, the helicopter. As I told you, helicopter has a very big wing, at least one wing, at least one engine, that uh, is uh, powered by the power of the engine. And this makes the helicopter get up and move. On the other side, uh, the autogiro, as the name says, has a big wing, upstairs but he has also a little propeller that is horizontal in this way he moves forward and the force of relative wind makes move the upper wing in this way automatically the upper wings keep the uh, auto giro up but is not powered with engine that's the big difference okay well this is the complete version of the classification of aircraft so we will uh, have to see how the, the drones, for example, what are them? Where do you will put them? Write me in the comments. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.